A large tank with a nozzle attached contains three immiscible inviscid fluids as shown in the figure. Assuming that the changes in H1, H2 and H3 are negligible, the instantaneous discharge velocity is options are option A root of 2g H3 into 1 plus rho 1 H1 by rho 3 H3 plus rho 2 H2 by rho 3 H3. Option B root of 2g into H1 plus H2 plus H3. Option C root of 2g into rho 1 H1 plus rho 2 H2 plus rho 3 H3 by rho 1 plus rho 2 plus rho 3. Option D root of 2g into rho 1 H2 H3 plus rho 2 H3 H1 plus rho 3 H1 H2 by rho 1 H1 plus rho 2 H2 plus rho 3 H3. Now the solution is we know Bernoulli equation which states in a steady flow the sum of all forms of mechanical energy in a fluid along a streamline is the same at all points on that streamline. That means the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy remains constant. That increase in the speed of the fluid occurs proportionately with an increase in both its dynamic pressure and kinetic energy and decrease in static pressure and potential energy. Now the Bernoulli's equation that is V square by 2 plus GZ plus P by rho is equal to constant where V is the velocity of the fluid flow and G is the acceleration due to gravity Z is the elevation of the point with reference to the reference plane and P is the pressure at the chosen point. Rho is the density of the liquid. Now in the given problem, a tank contains three different liquids of density Rho1, Rho2 and Rho3 of heights H1 and H2 and H3 respectively. Now let us apply the Bernoulli's equation at exit that is V1 square by 2 plus GZ1 plus P1 by rho 3 is equal to V2 square by 2 plus GZ2 plus P2 by rho 3. But the elevation of the point from the reference plane that is Z1 and Z2 are same in this case. So Z1 is equal to Z2. So the equation will become V1 square by 2 plus P1 by rho 3 is equal to V2 square by 2 plus P2 by rho 3. But the liquid is stable that is V1 is equal to 0 and the pressure P1 is equal to atmospheric pressure that is P atm. So Finally, the above equation will become P1 by rho 3 is equal to V2 square by 2. So, V2 square is equal to 2 P1 by rho 3. So, V2 is equal to root of 2 P1 by rho 3. But in the given problem, the tank contains three different liquids with density rho 1 and rho 2 and rho 3 with H1 and H2, H3 height respectively. So, the resultant pressure P1 is equal to the summation of the pressures due to three different liquids. Now, we know a tank containing a liquid of density rho, then the pressure at a point at h distance from the reference is equal to rho g h. So, now let us apply this formula in the above case. So, P1 is equal to rho 1 g h 1 plus rho 2 g h 2 plus rho 3 g h 3. Now let us substitute this p 1 value in the above equation that is v 2 is equal to root of 2 into rho 1 g h 1 plus rho 2 g h 2 plus rho 3 g h 3 by rho 3. Now take g as a common. 2g into rho 1 h1 plus rho 2 h2 plus rho 3 h3 by 
row 3. Now multiply and divide the numerator and denominator with h3. That is root of 2g h3 into row 1 h1 plus row 2 h2 plus row 3 h3 by row 3 h3. We can write the above equation as root of 2g h3 into row 1 h1 by row 3 h3 plus row 2 h2 by row 3 h3 plus row 3 h3 by row 3 h3. Here row 3 h3 and row 3 h3 will get cancelled. So finally the equation will become root of 2g h3 into row 1 h1 by row 3 h3 plus row 2 h2 by row 3 h3 plus 1. So the correct option is option A root of 2g h3 into 1 plus row 1 h1 by row 3 h3 plus row 2 h2 by row 3 h3.